COPD really comprises two different illnesses. And one element is called chronic bronchitis. And that's when your, your smaller airways, your bronchioles, get filled with mucus. But also those alveoli there, those are the balloon-like structures, they can become destroyed. You're seeing the mucus there fill the airways. That's called chronic bronchitis, constantly clearing your lungs. Airways are narrowed. When those alveoli, those balloon-like structures, get destroyed in emphysema, that blood oxygen interaction that's supposed to occur in those little capillaries there doesn't occur efficiently anymore. So you can't get enough oxygen. And when you can't get enough oxygen, what you try to do when you have COPD is you do everything within your power to get more in. And that's why you'll see a lot. Of, and, and what's interesting is COPD sufferers will actually get really thin because they are spending so much energy just trying to breathe mm -hmm. that all day long they're burning calories. But it's a miserable not Miserable a diet, girls. No. No. And, no. And we saw what, what a patient like your grandmother looks like clinically, but on the inside, yeah. too, there are yeah. definite changes. I want to first show you what a nice, healthy lung looks like here. And you can see the, the streaking in there. Those are the, the uh, medium sized airways, bronchioles, leading to the outer part of those the lung are those tissue. little lighter strips all over the place? Right, and this is the end part would be the alveoli, the part that's actually exchanging mm -hmm. the gases that Dr. Travis showed. And this needs to be differentiated from a, uh, this is an, a, a lung mm -hmm. in someone in whom they, they had emphysema, and you see the difference. Number one, the lung is much larger. Those air spaces have distended. Mm -hmm. And Is that two, why you can't breathe as well? Because it it's it swells, it's distended, and it doesn't let you doesn't let it work as well. Exactly. Does Oxygen it? actually, the air, when you have emphysema, it literally gets trapped. Mm -hmm. So because th those those balloons become destroyed and expanded, and that's why people with emphysema it's called they look barrel chested yeah. because mm -hmm. everything gets bigger in here, ah. and you can look at an X ray of someone with emphysema, and their lungs are huge. Really, so you can but see it right work. away, which work. is a reason not to lie. You know, I always feel like there's probably the, you know, you're, you go and you see your doctor, and you're like, no, I'm fine, I really, I don't, I don't smoke, I don't do anything. You know, mm -hmm. they're there to help you. They're not there to judge you. And they'll do that a lot. They'll say they don't smoke. But I think what you're doing is fantastic, because you've taken on as a mission to educate people about COPD. And you have this campaign, it's, it's, right? It's, uh, it's been a really successful campaign so far, and it's, uh, it's so wonderful to be able to turn a negative into a positive. And I'm sure she'd be proud, she probably is. And, you know, I'm sure my grandpa's proud, and, and uh, it's the right thing to do. And, um, you know, given the platform I have, I, I want to use it. Danica, thank you so very much.